Okay, so I'm back. I had to put Sadie out the door. Um, as bad as she would like to stay in here, she is into everything. So, um, back to what I was saying. I'm going on a cruise in seven days. And a seven-day cruise in a little over a week. Um, I can't be without anything to do um, or be uncreative. And plus, I want to document um, in a journal the experiences that we have. We typically go on one cruise uh, per year together. And this will be the first time I'm actually able to document it and say a journal. So I looked all over YouTube trying to find videos of travel journal supplies, um, etc. I found a few things, um, but I was really looking more so as to what they housed it in. So I had a few things already. Um, that I can travel and take a few things with but they did not have tops to them so they weren't enclosed um, they were one of the um, things that you put all well I think I have one right here sorry I switched to a, a different table on the other side but this is kind of what um, I have um, which is really nice and good except for the fact that I didn't think I wanted something that was open while we were out and about. So, um, typically on our cruises, we spend a lot of time um, just relaxing. And so, um, when you go to the adult pool, they have really nice, like, shaded areas with big umbrellas. And I like to go out there and doodle, draw, whatever. So, I went to the thrift store. Um, it was Waterfront Missionary. Uh, I got this bag for $5.99. The bag is Atlantic, um, and I had already checked out and found a Cole Haan purse for $6.99. I almost had a heart attack. I'd already checked out, and this caught my eye. It was the one little bitty out-of-the-way place that they had. Um, I think it was four similar kind of bags like this. And so I ran over there, and I was looking, and this is the only one I found. Let me show you why I chose it. Okay, so it has a zipper on the front. I'm not finished packing it up, but it has a zipper on the front where you can put things. It has a zipper on the back, okay? And um, this I put in, um, I'm trying to zoom out just a little bit. I actually put, got this um, to put some of the um, collage elements and things. I put a few different things in there um, already. I have two stencils, some book paper, yeah, some different text, a few jelly prints, um, things like that. I'm not finished packing this, but um, this was actually in a... Uh, thrift store find that I had as well. So um, I'm going to take that. The second thing, and we're going to talk a little bit more about this, but um, this is the journal that I'm going to take to document um, what we do and what we see and any ephemera that we get. So I'm going to flip through that in just a little bit. Okay, so now to the big pocket. And the reason why I really like this is because it opens all the way around and then it opens into these plastic compartments so the first compartment um that we have here all right all right so the first compartment that we have is just a large pocket it so if anything spills or whatever you can just wipe it off um i have my gelatos slash gel sticks um all in there i have some traveling vacation uh, rubber stamp set that I got. I have a few compasses. I thought this would be cute since we're going to um, Honduras and where else? Can't think of the other places we're going to, but we have three ports of call. So um, I thought the little tropical birds, butterflies, stamps, one that says waves on it. I thought uh, that would be cute to take with me. Um, I have some of these close to my heart um, sets. 
and I just brought these because they're a good background sticker. I'm um, not stickers, but stamps. Um, border stamps, just if I want to put a quick border around something. And then my little recollection date stamps, so I can keep um, the day um, stamped on there. So that's pretty much that. These are probably all the stamps I'm going to take um, in here. Maybe. So let's zip this guy back up. All right, go to the other side. Okay, over here, it has all of these pin. Let's see, maybe if I do it like this, it has all of these pins, um, spots, pencils, um, blending tools, sharpies, copics, uh, gel pens, water brush, um, a little sponge thing. I put all of that in here. Then this unzips across. And um, I, I'm taking my Derwent Ink Tense 24 count pencils. And then I just have a little um, credit card door swiper thing to spread some paint on. Okay. And then when we go inside of this, I have my gesso, my Mod Podge, my ink, my two acrylic blocks. Um, some paper clips, glue stick, pencil sharpener. Um, I have some cosmetic sponges, a bottle to put water in. The only thing that is really missing out of this setup right now is acrylic paints and watercolor. I'm actually making my own watercolor um, travel tin for um, out of Owl Toy Box because I priced a lot of those. Um, travel sets and they are like ridiculously expensive so um, since I have two watercolor anyway that's what I'm gonna do now I did have I'm looking around the studio to see if I can find what I did with I originally had my acrylic paints in something similar to this um, this little box right here so I was going to put some acrylic paints in these little guys, but I'm not real comfortable with how easily they come undone. So I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board. So if you guys have any suggestions as to um, the way that you travel with your acrylic paints, that'd be great. Okay, so now I'm going to talk through this guy. Okay, so have you ever been in a situation and you thought there is no way in the world that this is for anybody but me? That's kind of how I felt about the bag that I paid $5.99 for. Um, and it's also how I felt about this book. This book on the back says, create a storybook um, made out of heavy duty paper, specially bound to open flat, making them perfect for writing or drawing. And I thought, what this must have been waiting on me so what I have done is I have left this blank because I don't know exactly how I want to do the front if you open this up it has an envelope here I've put a little date thing I've made it where this is a pocket let's see maybe if I zoom in a little bit so I made it where this is a pocket here. This has got a few index cards in case I want to journal or write. This is where I can add any additional ephemera that I find on the trip. Um, these journaling cards, I, I think there's about three of those back there. Um, I had planned on doing a two-page. I think I'm actually going to be able to do two two-page spreads per day. Because I think it's like 14 or 15 pages in here. This is the front page. Second page, this is actually the journal that I clean my stencils off um, in. And so it already has a little bit of, um, you know, decoration, whatever, graphic ink um, background. So this is an envelope, um, a hand-sewn, handmade envelope. And I just put it in here because I thought that would be really cute to put... Um, any little things if you've ever been on a cruise they give you these daily direction like things and it gives you all the things to do so i can include that in here as well um this is just another background piece um i create i put a little 
jelly print thing cut it in half and where it will open up and we can turn on put pictures whatever um this is where i was cleaning off something i think a card and i kind of covered that up oh happy day um when i was doing this but that's just an additional journey journaling spot this is where i was cleaning off those foam things i use in jelly printing um and this is how i got that background this is another envelope just a plain envelope to tuck away anything that i might need or want to keep this next page has a tip in added in and it is um from my jelly prints and along with stencils and stuff like that that i cleaned off the um of course additional backgrounds from ink or something and then just a plain paper and all of these are just attached in with washi tape um to hold them in and this is just another envelope the this part has been jelly printed on and this part is plain and then you can just tuck away anything in there um Again, just spray stencils, another one of the two page little deals. Um, this is actually from the video I did on the mini cardboard art journal. I had my lines off a little bit, and so I, it wouldn't line up correctly. So I put this, this in here, and then I tied some stuff on there because I thought if there's anything that I want to keep and maybe has a hole on it or a trinket or something, that I could just tie it on to this and then also use the most additional journaling. This I put um, little mini bags in there with little tags, um, little additional journaling spots in there. I like all the bright colors that ended up being in this book and creating some already good backgrounds another plain envelope this one um was from all of those uh, foam things and then this is where paper towels get really inky from dabbing it up and i just put it in here and squish it and that's what gives you these <clears throat> little texture spots and then here's another one i'm going to tie some more fibers on the top of this one because it's the same situation with that mini album lineup and then the back here and what i did with it is um i can't remember if this is heidi swap or something but um just has the entire week um, places to go people to see if we want to write anything here and then I just put two tags stuck down in the top um, that we can also um, kind of decorate about our trip so thank you guys for joining me today I hope to see you soon